so exciting. It is such an iconic book. It is such an amazing book. And you guys have all been with us. Everyone, just a massive, massive thank you. And I think the great thing about this is that we went through some stats and some numbers, and they are really, really important. But the one number, the one number that you can't count, and the one number that is probably the thing that underpins everything that this event will do is the number of smiles that it will generate. I defy anyone to walk up those stairs, past that bed, and not smile. If that was you, go there again, because you're obviously looking the other way, and you need to come up and you need to experience that. And I think that's the thing about our work. Yeah, we can talk about the economic impact, we can talk about the stats, we can talk about the amazing amount of money that our auctions are over rates, which um, last year topped 19 and a half million pounds for our project funds, just for the auctions. And we can talk about all that. But what underpins it is a smile. And I think that is so important, whether you're a child going to hospital, when someone smiles at you, it puts you, you know, it puts you at ease. When you're in a corporate situation and you've got a difficult meeting or whatever it is, and someone smiles at you. But it's that smile that is so important. That smile is, I say, underpins everything we do. Um, so please bear that in mind, because what you're doing is going to put a massive smile on the face of these next year, which I think is something that you should do anyway, irrespective of this. So yeah, let's get into the smile business. But as for corporates, yeah, we know it's been a tough time. Yeah, there's no escaping from it. It's been a tough time. And I think as we move forward, the chances are we may be through a bit of a tough time over the next year, 18 months, whatever it is. But that doesn't mean that we should stop celebrating life. It does not mean we should stop talking about what our company does. It doesn't mean we should stop engaging with our staff and our, our wider community. Actually, it's even more important that we engage with our staff. It's even more important that as companies, we support our society. And that's what this event will do. So I think, yeah, it's about the impact, it's about all those amazing things, it's about, you know, we did, we did a project with bees in, I don't know, some city over that way, some of the I can't remember what it matches for a dreadful place, useless football. Um, but we did a project over there, city centre football up by 14% in August, 13.9% in September, by the way, I don't know why in September. That was against the national drop in football in Kansas City Centre. That's a huge number, a million people follow the trail. We can do that, we can beat that, and I think we will do that because it's such an incredible sculpture. It's such a beautiful story. And also I think when talking about some of the, the, the benefits of it, we did, um, we, we did a, a, a two sculpture trails once with the snow, you remember the film The Snowman? Walk on the air, sorry. Um, we did a project in Newcastle, the same time we did it in Brighton. When we did the research, 100% of the respondents in Newcastle said they were proud to have the event in their city and it helped give them that sense of community. In Brighton, the miserable so-and-so's, my hometown by the way, it was 99.9% so they were proud. So, oh, I'm sorry, 99%, so I want to leave with that 1%. It might have been my colleague Sarah, by the way, also was in Brighton, we've done enough that's local. Um, but that's what it does. It will unite the city. It will bring people together. And yeah, if you get a chance this year to go and see one of our trails and experience the magic of what it does, please do so. Because I think what you'll see is people who don't normally have a reason to have a conversation, whether different backgrounds, different this, different that, or whatever, it will bring people together, it will spark those conversations, and ultimately it will spark those smiles, which are so important. And it's actually on the back of those smiles that extraordinary things will happen, economically, socially, culturally, but ultimately raising a bucket full of cash for these guys, because actually, these guys are supporting your community, and, you know, as parents, as adults, whatever, we never know when we're going to need them, but by golly, when we do need them, we absolutely need them. So I think Paul and your team, you know, part of that, an extraordinary job, we know just how amazing the NHS are, and kind of this is our chance to say to the, say to the, the, the Leeds Office Charity, thank you for all you've done. And we rely on you guys. So go spread the word.
go talk about bears. Um, I will admit the first time you walk up to a stranger and go, have you seen my bear? It, it can spark some interest. But we had these two fantastic girls walk past earlier. I mean, super rocked out 70s style punks. You had never seen two cool looking people. They were brilliant. They came up, they were looking at the bear, they were smiling. They're now two bear ambassadors. So be bear ambassadors. Get out, enjoy it. It's coming. It's, I'm not going to take a pause. I was expecting a little bit more that, truth be known. Um, but it's coming, it's going to be extraordinary. Take a bite out of the sponsorship, get involved, let's go on a bear hunt. Thank you.